Hey, what's going on everybody? In this episode, we're going to take a look at paths, which is a way to describe the location of a file or directory. Now, there are two types of paths, and it's important to understand both and how they're different. We have relative paths and absolute paths. So let's jump into it by first talking about this command right here, ls-a for all. And this is going to include anything that starts with a dot, including these two here, which is the current directory and the parent directory. By current directory, I am referring to this path right here. And you'll often hear this as the working directory. The parent directory refers to this home directory. And it's relative to where we are currently at, which is this parallels home directory. So if I say something like ls space dot dot, that's going to show the directory contents of the home directory, this home directory not the directory we're currently in, which is parallels. So we hit that, and you can see the only thing in there is a directory called parallels. If you want to include any other options, you can do that here as well, such as la dot dot, and you'll get all that extra information. We can use these dots to change directory and grab files relative to where we're at. So if we want to move up a directory, we could say cd dot dot, and now we're in home. cd dot dot, and now we're in the root directory. We can go back to our home directory by saying cd, and you can use a tilde. That's actually optional. You can just use cd by itself, and that'll take us to our home directory. So that's a little shortcut. There's a lot more you can do with the cd tilde, which we might look into that later. But for now, let's just get to the home directory. And from here, what I want to do is start navigating using these dots. So for example, if you wanted to go into the videos directory, you would say cd dot slash videos. So in other words, from the current working directory, let's travel into the videos directory. And it ends with a forward slash here, which is another way to say that's a directory. When you have that forward slash at the end, it's typically optional. Basically, that's a way just to say, hey, this is a directory. But if you leave it off, it'll usually work just fine. So let's just go ahead and delete that. And that works. And then we can move back by saying cd dot dot, and that'll bring us back. Now, another trick you could do is let's say we are in the videos directory and we want to travel to the last working directory we were in. You can say cd hyphen, and that'll give the directory here and it'll take us to it. So we've never done it this way before because this dot slash is implied. So we could just instead say videos like so and that works the same way. So let's try some more advanced navigation. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create two directories and we're gonna use the mkdir command. Now for this, you can actually put multiple directories here. So let's say we make a directory for home videos and a directory for professional videos and hit enter. And now we can see these both exist in the videos directory. What we can do is we can change directory into one of these. Let's just jump into the professional directory. And now if we want to move to the home vids directory, the way we would originally do this is we would change directory to the parent and then change directory into home vids. And that works, but there's actually an easier way to do this. So let's go ahead and let's move back to the directory we were just in with cd hyphen. So now we are in the videos directory. We'll actually just move one more into professional. All right, so we're back into professional. And if you want to jump to the home vids directory, all you'd have to do is you would say dot dot for the parent slash, and then we can see all the options and jump into home vids. And there you go. So that was a lot. So let me just review that. If we're in a directory and we want to move to a directory that is next to it, so we have home vids and professional, all we would do is say cd parent slash professional. And there you go. These are all relative paths because the meaning of the dot is dependent on where we are currently at, our current working directory. So when we go up a directory to the parent or navigate into another directory that all depends on what is available in the working directory we're currently in so that's why it's said to be relative absolute paths 
they're pure, they don't change depending on where you're at. So let's see what that would look like. Well, when we say PWD, this actually gives us an absolute path to where we're at. Home, parallels, videos, professional. And you can see absolute paths start with a slash. This is the root directory. So if I say CD forward slash, well, now we are in the directory that contains all other directories. So let's say we wanted to go into one of these. We'll just change directory into root. Oh, of course. We'll change directory into etc. And we'll see what's in here. There's a bunch of stuff. Let's just cd into one of these. It doesn't really matter. Into gnome. Now let's say we want to move back to our video folder. Well, let's do this with an absolute path. We would say cd forward slash. And again, you can use tab to see all the options. Double tab. And this was in home, parallels, and then videos, and then professional or home vids. Hit enter, and there you go. That is how you navigate with an absolute path. One of the downsides with the absolute path is, let's say you have a directory, and everything is working with whatever you're doing, and you move that somewhere else, then your, your absolute paths could break, whereas your relative paths could continue to work. And this is something you'll often see in programming. If you're referring to a file that is in a directory next to whatever file you're working in, well, you'll use a relative path. That way you can move that entire project around without having to worry about it. So it really just depends on what you're trying to do. I've used absolute paths if there's like a, a certain script I want to execute and I want to just be able to execute that from anywhere. Well, then I don't have to worry about relative paths. I could just say something like forward slash home, forward slash parallels, forward slash script.sh. And that will refer to that script. And I wouldn't have to worry about it not being available because I'm using relative paths. That's all I have in this episode. It's kind of scatterbrained, but a lot of little things to go over. Hopefully it wasn't uh, too scatterbrained and that you're actually able to get something useful from this video. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos. We have a lot more coming. See ya. And subscribe.